Hey guys, welcome back to Breezy Reef and just a quick look at the 24 gallon. Everything's doing really well. Um, it's kind of crazy. I think the Sabay anemone has grown again in the past couple of weeks. Um, honestly, for the for the past year or so, uh, I haven't noticed a change in it. I mean, obviously it's a, it's a big anemone already, but um, I introduced that new piece of live rock with the SPS corals growing on it. It's kind of a shelf and I, got, I, I had a diatom bloom that happened. Um, it went on for about 10 days, and as a result, I did some extra water changes. I also introduced some more cleanup crews, some Astraea snails and uh, hermit crabs, and the system worked through that pretty quickly. Um, no signs of uh, diatoms anymore. But every time I did a water change, I mean, the large anemone would kind of swell up, and its tentacles would get really fat and I think it was enjoying uh, the extra clean water. I do keep the, the water in this system pretty pristine but um, I don't know if that was had something to do with it but it's honestly grown about two to three inches. <clears throat> and now part of it is kind of touching the sand which it didn't used to do and there's a big fold going up onto that new rock. Uh, that I put in there. So I'm just gonna have to kind of see what happens. I have those SPS corals there. Um, it's really almost on top of the little frag of green bird's nest, so I might have to move that, try something else. Uh, just gonna have to kind of keep an eye on this thing. I mean, I don't really know how big these anemones will get, but it's already taking up nearly half the tank. So um, I'd hate to change anything, but um, just kind of monitoring. Uh, what this anemone is doing and it's, it's getting cl pretty close to some of my corals so just have to see. Um, the other thing I kind of just want to show you real quick is some of those SPS corals I put in this system and what's going on there. So here's that little frag of green bird's nest. It's actually doing really good and showing nice color. You can see the anemone is <laughs> almost right on top of it. Um, this is the purple stylophora, and this one's doing really good too so far. I have been dosing the tank like every other day, um, be ionic, um, to help these corals out. And I also moved my little nano corallia. So it used to be on the back panel, now I have it on the side glass. And it's blowing across the back of the tank. You can see the GSP there getting blown around, but just wanted to get a little more flow on these. Uh, this is the one that I don't think is going to make it. This is the tricolor uh, Valida, and I mean it's still alive, but you can see bleaching there along the base, and it, in my 90 gallon it has kind of violet tips, and uh, there's, there's no more violet color there. So I mean there's still polyps out, I just, um, I'm not sure my, if I have enough uh, alkaline and calcium in this system for it or if there's not enough flow or what's going on. So kind of an experiment with that one. Um, I'm just leaving it be for now. If it dies off, I mean, I'll put something else in its place. And this is a, a new piece I got the other day. This is a really large pop, polyp um, photosynthetic gorgonian. And you can see those polyps actually catch things and they close up really quickly and open really quickly. So. Uh, this piece uh, I got from a friend of mine and comes from uh, southern Florida, so I'm really not sure of the name of it, but I got this frag and I just, I really like Gorgonians. So this is my third piece of Gorgonian in this tank. Um, I have the purple ribbon right there, and this piece is doing great in this system, actually a lot better than the larger colony in my 90 gallon. All its polyps are out. It's got really nice purple color. And let me go across here, and there's the other Gorgonian. So, really like these pieces in this system. I mean, these are all photosynthetic. And uh, that's what I got going on, guys. So, that's it for now. I'll talk to you soon. Thanks for watching.